Hello everyone and welcome back to Enshrouded. It's been a little while since we played, but there was a big update that came out today, adding a bunch of dungeons to the game, some new craftables, a new NPC, new quest lines, and I thought it'd be fun to jump in and check it out. Uh, we're gonna have to port back over to uh, over to my little my little base, but I want to check and see if this is actually one of the dungeons over here. Uh, this building was one that we checked out on stream when I was playing. Uh, it was probably the last stream, I think, actually. But there was nothing available here yet. I think it actually might be a dungeon. We're gonna find out. Uh, I don't know where the entrance to this thing would be. I think it was up. Was it up top? Was it down below? No, it's gotta be down below. There's a bridge down here. Good. Quick peek in here. We'll see if this happens to be one of the new dungeons that they added. I think it's these buildings here that uh, they, they they turned into the dungeon entrances. I don't know if we have to do anything in particular to get in. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, not this one. So, in addition to getting ourselves uh, started on the quest line, I guess I got to figure out where to go to go find the dungeons in this place. I'm sure the quest will send me there. I didn't end up playing any more of the game after the last time I streamed, so my equipment hasn't gotten any better than it used to be, but uh, we do have this fancy breastplate and helmet. Um, I did have an axe, actually, that uh, I hadn't upgraded just yet, so now I have that. Uh, where is it here? My backpack. This thing here. So we've got the Light Forged Axe now. It does 53 damage. I was using this, the uh, Jasmina's Ap Apotheosis. That was only 41 damage. So the step up in damage there will be uh, certainly appreciated. Uh, in addition to the new quest lines and stuff that we can check out, there's also new craftables and things. Apparently the Carpenter is going to have some new stuff for us. Uh, we can do crafting directly from storage now if you have things in the magic chest, which is amazing. So that's a huge quality of life upgrade for sure. Uh, and then I think there's also like some new round doors and windows. Yeah, here we go. There's the uh, iron adorned round door. We also got the window frames. So for those people who really want to make their own little hobbit village, there's uh, there's that there. Pretty cool. And perhaps most importantly, now we can apparently sit on seats somehow. How do I sit? We're supposed to be able to sit down, but I I, I don't know how to sit. <laughs> that figures. I can do everything but sitting. This is a bench, I should be able to do it, but it only gives me the option to pick it up, so I don't know. Apparently we're supposed to be able to sit on furniture now, which is kind of a big win. Simple thing, but it's, you know, it's cool. Hello there. Alright, Balthazar, what have you got here for me quest-wise? Oh, no, that's crafting. I don't, it's not the crafting thing. It says here, descend into the hollow, uh, the hollow halls. Huh? By now you've encountered the hollow. Skeletal husks animated by eye or the curse of the flame. Legends say they were banished into grand underground halls of unknown origin. I discovered one such hall during my studies, but I could not enter. Maybe you can. Best assemble a team if you have one to descend. Well, I don't have a team, so I guess we'll have to go in face first and just face roll it. Um, it's got stuff in here that was things we have to craft for him. Oh yeah, here we go. Warm white glowing substance. No comment. Okay, so, explore the Hallowed Halls. We've got that on our journal now to, to find that. Oh, now they all want to talk to me. Now, what's he got here? The mysterious Hollow Halls. So the ghastly catacombs that house the Hollow are real? My Aunt Ellen used to tell stories, but, well, you know her. Always a tale teller, that one. Bull Balthazar's seen them himself, and it's true. Oh, think of the materials, the architecture, the treasures. I wish my little legs could take me there, too. Watch out! Splinters. All right, what's she got going on? She had a quest ready for us already. The spinning wheel. Oh. Flameborn, you work so tirelessly every day, weaving minutes to hours and hours to days. Use spinning wheel to be more effective when crafting linen and string. The carpenter knows how to make one. I think I already made a spinning wheel. At least I thought I did. Maybe I... Oh, yeah, here it is over here. We got a spinning wheel. I don't know what she's going on about. Beware of the hollow! My dear, the alchemist has yet entered the hollow halls? Beware the hollow inside. These thieves conspired to claim part of the flame and were cursed by the ancients as punishment. To never feel the warmth of another, I almost pity them. Don't be a stranger. I wonder if he actually marked it on my map. He probably did, actually. What do we got going on here? Quests. <laughs> I have very little going on. Oh, I gotta use the spinning wheel. That's all I have to do? Craft a spinning wheel and place it to enable... Cost-effective crafting. I can't complete the quest because I already built the spinning wheel. All right, explore the hollow halls. The location's got the symbol of this little torch thing on it. So I'm assuming there's going to be a bunch of these. I think in their release update, they uh, they did highlight that there were a few different dungeons. Oh, there it is. It's over here. <laughs> Judging by the flashingness, I'm, I'm going to guess it's right over there. 
That's not too far away. This might be a low-level dungeon. If I'm going anywhere, we're going to need some food. I don't really have very much on me right now. Uh, strength constitution. I was using the meat wrap before, I think. I'm all out of red mushrooms, though. So we might have to go with chicken soup. Heard it's good for the soul, if you believe the books, anyway. Uh, with the crafting now, you can actually do multiples of things, also. Let's craft five of those. No, make ten of them. Why not? Uh, I would like to make some fruit salad if I can. Where's that? Fruit bowl! There we go. Oh, I need purple berries. Really? How do I not have purple berries? I feel like that's probably what was limiting me before. I also need more strawberries, too. I remember I planted strawberries out here. We've got tomatoes, we've got lots of corn, I've got grain over there. These are peppers, so it's not that. But these are beets. Ah, oh, crap, I don't have any strawberries planted. Well, in the absence of strawberries, I made some rooibos tea so we can get the uh, seven stamina recharge. Gives me plus three endurance, too, as compared to the health regen we were getting from the chamomile tea. I guess that's all right. Stamina regen's nice. Uh, I have this working on making strawberries for me so we can get some of those planted. Um, but it's going to be a while for them to make. It's like days, it looks like. Really, really long time to make strawberry seeds. Uh, I did come out here and plant some flax. So I've got this available you know, later when we need some more linen and stuff. But let's go see if we can find this dungeon entrance. Alright, if I'm going to set up a flame altar where we want to set the dungeon we want to be in, I'm going to have to extinguish one of these. Extinguish that flame. So this is the one that's actually way over here. At the, uh, the near the uh, faraway tavern. Or faraway fray tavern, rather. Uh, I can just fly here from this ancient spire anyway if I need to come back here. I don't think I'm going to need to anytime in the near future. Uh, so we'll get this thing to go away, and then I can build a new flame altar outside of the dungeon. That way if I die, I don't have to, like, struggle to get all the way back again. Okay, to get where we want to go, I'm just going to port over here to the spring lens tower and then we can fly southwest where that exclamation point is that's where we want to go can't really see it from here somewhere in that general vicinity I'm sure a glider can get us there though it's a long way but this uh this end game glider is pretty sweet you can go really far with this thing although it doesn't look like I can go far enough Pretty sure I gotta get to that cave that's up on the hill up there. We made it! Welcome to the Hallow Halls! Uh, I need to get my hands on some stone so we can build our flame altar up here. Fortunately, it doesn't take a whole lot. Remember correctly, it's like five, I think. Okay, yeah, five stone to make a flame altar. We've got that. Uh, I'm gonna need to put that in my hot bar so I can actually put this in the world. Um, whatever. Swap over my bandages. There we go. I'm just gonna set it right out here. Give me a good location that we can uh, we can come to if I happen to die. Uh, I have 26 minutes left on my rested buff, but it probably makes sense to travel home, get rested up, and then uh, come back and take a little foray inside. Well, as it turns out, it was a good thing I came back home to reset my buff anyway. Uh, I don't have the right foods that I need to get my uh, my triple food buff. So I planted some strawberries here. I planted some berry bushes. Got all these growing. I put a whole bunch of berry bushes over here, too. I don't know if you have to wait until they show the berries for them to actually give you berries. All I got was plant fiber. That's not cool. Yeah, all right, I guess I gotta wait for those to produce berries. Uh, but the strawberries are just starting to come up over here. Um, I did also run over to the uh, the Revelwood Forest. Harvested a couple quickly because I was getting tired of waiting. The strawberries take a really long time. Not only to craft them, because you only get five at a time, and there's quite a time consumption to make them. Then they take a while to grow. So, we got these anyway. Uh, I did also round up a bunch of berries. The uh, purple berries. So we should be in a good shape to make the, uh, the fruit salad now. Uh, that way we'll have all the food buffs that we need. Yeah, there we go. I forgot these make two at a time also. 
Okay, so uh, we're all equipped with food. I got my my buff reset. Uh, let's leave the strawberries here. Um, chicken soup or so constitution intelligence or constitution dexterity. I mean, this gives me five constitution. So let's leave the soup behind. Let's take the fruit salad buff. So between the three of these, we can get our full food buffs going. Man, I'm finally ready to head into the dungeon. Man, I I I, I don't really want to admit how long it took me to get all the stuff prepared for this. <laughs> Thank goodness for the glory of editing. Let's see what this place has in store for us. Open sesame? Oh, you know what? I probably should make sure I got my food buffs active. That might be a thing. There we go. Kind of got that upgraded axe before coming in here, too. I think I'm going to need the damage. A new mystery unfolds. They're more than legends after all. The hollow halls exist, and inside them echo the melodies of a bygone age. Memories of a time where clear skies reigned and the shroud was still slumbering below. These halls of unknown origin have existed for millennia, but their architecture differs from that of the ancients. Most curious. Instead, these crypts served as banishment grounds for the lowest in society. I wonder if the cursed inhabitants still walk this earthly plane. Well, you know they do. Scrap arrows. Oh, maybe this is low level in here. That's definitely not high end loot. Apparently, the new dungeons present quite a challenge, though, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. Got backstab damage on that guy. Okay. Well, these guys are easy. Must get more difficult down below. Ten. I feel like I should be able to kill these things in one hit, but it's probably taking more than that. What kind of loot do they drop? Ooh, what's that? Ectoplasm fragment. That's new. Take those. <laughs> I don't really need the bones so much, but the ectoplasm fragments are neat. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, I guess we gotta go into here. I guess it would make sense for this teleporter to be level locked or something, so if you come over here before you're high enough level, maybe you can't get in? I don't know. Red marble fragments. I don't know if those are new or not. I can't remember what kind of stuff we were getting before. Okay, so this will be our new respawn point. It didn't even occur to me when I was uh, worrying about my flame altar. Oop. These are still low level. I'm pretty sure, based on this, the uh, the dungeons are going to be tiered to the area that they're in, so that as you're progressing through the game, you can be doing these, as opposed to waiting to the end. Which I guess makes sense, but that's going to make walking through here a bit of a cakewalk. The heck is that thing? Was that was that a good thing to get or a bad thing to get? Well, that's not open, so it must have been a good thing. Oh, there we go. Hold on. There's another one up here. I see. Barrier unlocked. Okay, so collectibles to unlock the barrier. Got it. That's right. Run away, you guys. Come back. I'm still hunting you.
I don't know where they're going, but they're not interested in fighting, I guess. Wherever they're headed, they're in a hurry. I'm assuming this door will be locked. No, no, it's not. Somewhere in this dungeon, I think there's another NPC we can get as well. What is this? Skull summoning vessel? All this cool new stuff. Don't care about the ice bolts. This has got to be the... No, oh, it's a tablet. To my fellow flamekeeper, I am the reflection upon a slow river's surface that beckons you forth. Unknowable yet familiar. Alike yet different. An alluring call from the depths. You have enough spirit left in you to parse my words, unblinded by wrath. What an enticing mystery. Why don't you come to enlighten me, my new friend? Find me behind the mirror and dive into the deep. Bring me forth toward the horizon, the light, the breeze. You shan't regret it. Holy, look at the bones! That's cool. <laughs> I think the... the the hounds clearly work as guard dogs. Oh, they're, sh oh, they're calling for help. Get wrecked. Strength in numbers, I guess. Oh. oh, I missed him. <laughs> there we go. Backstab damage for the win. Those are a little easier. If you catch them before they summon friends, they kind of go down quick. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be like... Oh, there is. There's a little chamber back here. Well, we find it. We dig through the rubble. Huh. It's almost looks like a throne room or something. Alright, I thought there might be something interesting in here, but it's just a sealed off room. Oh, actually, wait a bit, this might be another doorway here. Or a coffin. This one's all glowy. Bones Courage Mace! Level 10. Whatever, we'll take it and scrap it, I guess. These skulls have glowing eyes. Oh, they look at that. They even gave us another save point. Cool looking. I guess if I was like level 10 or 15 or something, this would be pretty challenging. There's a lot of enemies, that's for sure. Especially when they start summoning. Oh boy. Seems to be the summoning that's been the most challenging because the enemies are so many. Barrier unlocked. Oh, I had to kill those enemies to unlock that. That's interesting. Take those with me, I guess. Anything else in this room? Oh, there's something else. At your fingertips. 
We're in so very deep, my friend. Perhaps you feel as I do. Boundless power, endless life, an eternal light simmering in silence, sealed away in spires and sanctuaries. What good can it do there, I ask you? It was aching to be shared. Why don't we grow, uh, reach out together, fellow flamekeeper? The depths are calling. Come closer and take my hand. I will pull you in. Is that an offer or a threat? Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually mine ectoplasmic essence here? Yeah, ectoplasm fragment. Yep, interesting. Alright, so I guess if I need more of that, I can just come back here and mine it up. Oh yeah, there's lots of it here. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, interesting. Alright. I guess they're gonna make us jump for it. Although, it looks like there might be something up there. Let's take a look up this uh, little bone pile slope over here first. That's a lot of rubble. I can't help but wonder if there's something hiding underneath here. Alright, well I got to actual dirt in here, so I'm gonna guess that there's probably... nothing here. <laughs> I dug pretty deep into the pile, as you can see. There, there might even be, like, some stuff under here if you clear this out, but I don't know that it's worth the effort. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. Especially since I suspect there probably isn't really anything there. Means we've got to go down here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can kind of gradually make our way down. That hurt a little bit. At least three lock points I can see from here. Now, there's one. There's two. Oh, that one hurt. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's get healed. <laughs> Third one down there. I suspect these were supposed to be harder to reach. Um, but this early in the game, you probably wouldn't have a good glider. Okay. So, presumably, you would drop down here if you were low enough level. Instead of going up to those points. I wonder how you get up there. Almost no point in looting here. Just doing it for giggles, I guess. Um, uh, oh, that's interesting. All right. So sh there's an anchor point here. Oh god! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god! Whoo! I almost died. I have a feeling that's that's. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I can run down there, but if. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> Man, okay, there are some downsides to having a really good glider. It goes really fast. Okay, there's another crystal there we got to get. Can I get that with my bow? No. Oh, I see. I went, I went the wrong way. You should go over here. That gives you an easy drop point. Something else down here. I'm, I'm assuming that's not instant death, but I am curious if I step on this, will I take shroud damage or something? Nope, regular damage. Oh, I'm cursed. All right, that might not have been a good idea. Got something going on. What if I got that red X next to me? Oh, my stamina. Okay, it sucks my stamina out. That's fun. All right, let's get this one here. Looks like this is an elevator of sorts. Oh, there is a chest down there. Where do you got that thing? Ooh, what do we got here? There we go.
Sinister Crescent Staff. Oh, I'm gonna take it just because I can scrap it. Salvage that thing. Might as well salvage this. Don't need either of them, really. Let's go up top here and see what this has to offer. I have a feeling this is the way you were supposed to go to get up to the, uh... This, those ones I kind of cheated my way to. Ah! More bats here. Missed. Ah, hold still. There we got that one. All right. Ow. There you're unlocked. We're in, baby. Oh, giving us another save point. They're being real generous with these things. And another place to repair my tools. Not that I really needed it, but sweet. All right, that way or that way? Check the one that doesn't go downstairs yet, because I have a feeling the next progression we'll get and we'll be downstairs. Just a pile of bones. Actually, if you mine these, do you get bones? Oh, you do. All right. Good way to collect bones, I guess. Oh, that would hit me. <laughs> Not as clever as I thought I was. It's totally face rolling this place. Not even like blocking effectively or anything. I guess I don't have to right now, but when we get to the harder ones, I'm gonna have to. It's sure coming quick, though. Silver shot bow. That one, oh, that one actually looks kind of cool. Okay, I just want to see what that looks like, because there's, uh... There's, I feel like all the cool bows are always too low level. Can't really see it very well. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking bow. Again. <laughs> Too low level. It's not like I can use it. We got down this way. A button. Open sesame. Fuse. Did I loop around or something? No, these doors are all closed. I didn't come through here. This place is huge. Come hither. You've made it far. I was right to place trust in you, my benefactor. Why well, remain bound by earthly chains? The red string of fate is tied around your neck and wrists, cutting into your flesh. You're torn apart by hooks of destiny, anchored between your ribs. Free yourself. Find me in this sea of souls and escape with me. Reach out. Just a little further now. Let us ascend together. You know who wrote this. Uh, actually, I don't know who wrote this, but he doesn't sound like a very pleasant guy. Lots of repair points in here. Something real dark over there. Whatever way I should go. Let's check down here first, I guess. door doesn't open. Oh! 
Okay. This is fun. What a wonderful dank we've discovered. More of these crystals we can mine down here. Alright, we'll cross this big suspicious looking bridge. This feels like the entrance to like a boss area. Oh god! <laughs> In the face. Back off. Wait, block. Oh god. Okay, now I see why that was there. <laughs> no, no, no stamina. I can't use the glider. Oh my god, I'm gonna die in here. Don't do this to me. Not like this. Not like this. Uh, uh, eight. God. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Oh wow, lots of enemies spawned. I interrupted my attack. It's cheating. Good strength in numbers, I guess. Yeah, dang. There's a lot of skeletons. I guess if you snuck in here, you might be able to like not have the uh, the hounds trigger more of them. There we go. Nope, not this time. Oh, okay, yeah, this time. Are they all dead? Alright, so clearly coming in here at low level would be a challenge. It's just a lot of enemy- oh, there's a whole lot over there, too. You know what? I might be able to get them with some AoE. The door does not open. I'm gonna assume all the doors in here probably don't. Alright, that's a lot of dudes. Ooh, ooh! That's a new type of enemy. Look at the crazy axes guys are wielding. <laughs> Finally blocked something. Absolutely just like face rolling. Oh, is he gonna stand still there and let me kill him? Nice. Alright, take that. Alright, let's see what's down these side corridors first. I'm gonna have to go back there, I think, to go through that. Oh, it's nearby. Dark Souls makes me suspicious. Is this is a trap. Ooh! Hollow Hall's building blocks. Nice. More craftables. Same thing. Hollow Hall's building materials. Alright. A couple of them. Okay. Stop hitting me. Just you and me, bud. Oh yeah, they have the little... Symbol thing over there, that's what that is. Didn't really notice it earlier when I was fighting him. 
Again, it's as a result of my wonderful powers of observation. <laughs> oh wait, these side doors open now. Looks like as you kill off those uh, little general guys, it uh, opens up the side doors. That's why the two side doors were open up there. Yep, more building blocks. That's cool. Yep. 1,019 of them. That's not bad. Alright, we're headed this way now. <laughs> I rolled, but not not the right time. Wow, I can see this place being really challenging as a solo player. At low level. There's just a lot of skeletons. What is this? Alden Crowley, the collector. Okay. Creepy. That's a very glowy chest right here. Sacrilegious Steel Sword. Yeah, it's such cool looking stuff, but it's low level. Oh, look at that thing. That's awesome. I hope the, uh, the higher level dungeons have really cool looking weapons, too. Alright, we got loot and everything in here, but I'm not going to bother because I don't really need anything that's going to drop. Let's get out of here. I think we'll put our new friend up here on the second floor. He can become friends with Balthazar or something. He's got a quest for us already. Kind of cool looking dude. A little dark. <laughs> I wonder if this guy's evil. Ah, fresh air fills my tired lungs. I greet thee, new friend. I'm a ferryman, a keeper of souls, a guide in the night. How lucky for you, aimless one. I will light your I path. Got some rare things for you. Uh, all right. So he does crafting. Collector at your service. Hmm. I'm free at last, thanks to you, my friend. All names are fleeting, just sound and smoke. I've as many as an hourglass has grains of sand. To you I'll be Alden. I'm the light that beckons downstream, a fading star behind the north winds, a collector and a breaker of earthly chains. I shall part the veil for you once you're ready. The toll is little, I promise you, friend. You're yeah, probably my soul or something. Skulls of our enemies. The Maniacal Hollow are driven by resentment. They must be set free, return to the winds of fate, slash through their white-hot anger, crack their pale fingers like wishbones, pluck their gold teeth from their jaws, and bring me the head of the one-eyed beast in their midst, so we may drink from its skull. Gather your might and craft the key to descend. Well, that seems awfully dark. Uh, man, this guy's got a lot to talk about. The flame's uh. blessing. The people follow your lead, bright-eyed friend. Why? I see a pulsing light inside your ribcage, held by flesh and bone. Interesting. Perhaps you've done as I could not. Flameborn, they call you? So the flame bestows both blessing and curse. Oh, how the thread of fate unwinds to bring us together, friend. He doesn't seem very friendly. Tainted breeze. It hangs over the breeze with each fresh breath I take. An unknown foulness settles in my lungs. What is this? Another curse? The shroud, you say? A malignant fog to suffocate the foolish and brave. Such mortal matters hardly faze those who rise beyond. You and I, flame-touched as we are, will carry on nonetheless. One-eyed beasts. The north wind carried them downstream. They hail from the faraway crags, monolithic and stalwart. Cyclopic gaze peering towards the dancing gusts of light on the horizon. Drawn to the shimmers like moss to a flame and faithfully greedy. They fled once burnt and hollowed by the curse. Do not show them mercy. They'd crush you to dust given the chance. 
because all sunshine and rainbows. Uh, all right, so we can craft a Revel Bone, uh, Revel Wood Bone Key. Uh, oh, look at that! I had collected just enough of the ectoplasm fragments, <laughs> like two extra. It's probably a good thing I was picking those up. So that'll let us get into that dungeon. Uh, he does some spells and stuff. Uh, skull summoning vessel. Uh, cool. Throw this mystical vessel to temporarily summon a skull companion. Oh, that's cool. Bone arrows. Those are only level 12, and they do like 14 damage. So these are probably not better than the uh, than the iron arrows I'm already making. Ectoplasm gem. I don't know what that's for, but it's something that we craft for a crafting ingredient, I guess. Some kind of material. Got some new tables. And then, oh, cool looking new chair. Crypt chair. That's pretty sweet. It gets plus three comfort, and so do the tables. So that could be handy to make, I guess. Kind of cool looking. Okay, so he wants us to go into the next dungeon. I wonder if he marked it on the map here. Um, oh god, there's so many symbols I can't really see anything. I would assume it would be another torch thing, just like the other one, but I don't know. Uh, collector revealed the location of the hollow halls in the Revelwood. Reach the location and descend to slay the one-eyed creature within and take its head to enable new crafting operations. So that's to get the ectoplasm press for the collector. All right, looks like the uh, the collector is going to send us on a series of quests to go through the different dungeons and uh, slay stuff to bring back for him. Uh, we'll tackle the next dungeon when we come back next time. Uh, actually, he's got another quest for us here, too. The birds About the collector. I tasked you to visit the Hollow Halls, so I fear our new associate is partly my doing. You know I walk a path of light. This individual lingers in the shadows. Shelter for all, of course, but I advise caution. This creature twists the strands of fate and ties them into a chaotic swirl. Such dark energy. I wonder how they've obtained such powers. Well, we'll find out, I'm sure, later on. But uh, thanks so much for checking out the video. We'll definitely be back to play some more in Shrouded as we uh, progress through the dungeons. Uh, with the number of skeletons in this one, I'm thinking as we go along, it's going to get uh, it's going to get pretty dangerous. It could be tough.